Good morning. Welcome to the morning forecast discussion for October 11th, 2011. We are on a Tuesday and say goodbye to the pleasant weather conditions we've been experiencing for the past several days. High pressure that has been sitting over the northern Atlantic is starting to give way and move to the northeast. Meanwhile, we have a boundary setting up over the northern Atlantic that is also going to start to collapse as this warm air mass and moisture saturated air mass moves into the northern Atlantic. Now I'm using the water vapor satellite picture this morning because I think it shows in detail exactly what we're dealing with as far as this storm. You can clearly see an area of low pressure developing over portions of the southeast, specifically over the panhandle of Florida. And you can see all of the tropical moisture from the Caribbean being pulled north into the coastal waters of the southeastern United States and slowly moving north towards the northern Atlantic. Meanwhile, we have a trough over the upper Midwest and the plains that is starting to tilt in a negative fashion. What that means is that the trough axis is positioned from southeast to northwest, basically like that. And because that trough is setting up in that fashion, you can see the edge of that trough right here. It's going to draw all this moisture to the north and keep this low pressure system along the east coast. So we're looking at a rather wet pattern setting up for the rest of this week. Taking a look at the radar here, you can see clearly that we have an area of rainfall developing over the Carolinas down through the southeast. Now there are no severe thunderstorms with this rainfall at all. It's pretty much moderate to heavy rain that is developing over the over much of the southeast. Notice over the northern Atlantic we have some blues and greens but this is because of low level moisture. It is not rainfall, just low level moisture because the atmosphere had cooled off. You can see this is working away and starting to give way to just a regular radar image where basically we can expect dry conditions on through this afternoon and into the evening hours. But then tonight, well it gets a little bit wet. Let's take a look at the latest model guidance and we're using the GFS model guidance which for this forecast purpose is pretty much on par with the European model guidance for the most part. So we remain dry through this afternoon but look for clouds to increase. Tonight our winds are going to start to increase from the southeast as our pressure gradient between this high and this low starts to intensify. And as a result look for winds from the southeast anywhere from 10 to 20 miles per hour possibly some higher gusts especially along the immediate coast. And then by tomorrow morning we have periods of rain moving into the northern mid-Atlantic and that will continue on through the evening hours as our low pressure system slowly drifts north. And then by Thursday you're going to notice the showers are going to become more scattered in nature. And the reason why is because the best dynamics are going to lift to the north. However, notice we still have plenty of energy on the way to the southwest uh, over the uh, Tennessee and Mississippi River Valleys. But again over the northern mid-Atlantic on Thursday morning the lifting is more scattered in nature so I expect the showers to be more scattered in nature on Thursday and Friday. Now by Friday afternoon all of this upper level lifting will move into the northern mid-Atlantic. I'm, I'm expecting periods of moderate to heavy rain early for, uh, mid Friday morning on through Friday afternoon as our cold front lifts north. And then the good news is for this weekend. Yes, we have windy conditions on Friday night into Saturday morning. I would not be surprised if we have northwesterly winds anywhere from 15 to 30 miles per hour with higher gusts. I mean, look at this pressure gradient. That is a sign of very windy conditions for the northern Atlantic, for Philadelphia and New York City on Friday night into early Saturday morning. However, the good news is that with high pressure and control, weather conditions are going to be absolutely perfect, although much cooler for this weekend. How much cooler? Well, say goodbye to the 80s. We're talking about lower 60s for this coming weekend as a true fall pattern sets in. And then by next week, we're going to have to keep an eye on this disturbance right here because this disturbance could lead to some rather interesting developments along the East Coast by next week. Let's say about Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, somewhere in that time period. This disturbance is going to mean trouble. 
That's your morning forecast discussion. I'm your meteorologist, Stephen Martino. As always, you can follow the latest weather information at nynjpaweather.com and at nynjpaweather on Twitter and Facebook. Have a great day.